Who's hosting this show? Hi, this is Amy Lewis. Lord of Makeup. This is Engineers Unplugged. Hi, this is Amy Lewis. Welcome back to another episode of Engineers Unplugged. I'm here with Colin and Giuseppe, and we're going to be talking about OpenStack. So, Colin, take it away. Thanks, Amy. So, my name's Colin Lynch. Um, I'm, I'm probably a lot, lot, like a lot of you guys at home, uh, very familiar with Nexus 1000V, but mainly in a vSphere environment. Um, I believe we've just had today at Cisco Live Europe announced the first actual Nexus 1000V um, support for KVM, uh, predominantly uh, Ubuntu OpenStack. Um, so I've got Giuseppe. Uh, so Giuseppe, Giuseppe just um, you know, give, give us a little uh, demonstration on how that differs to um, Nexus 1000V uh, under vSphere, for example. All right, so this is a great news for us. Uh, for the first time, Nexus uh, 1000V is actually running on OpenStack, being announced today as a big news here at Cisco Live. Um, so the great advantage, especially for the network engineer, is that um, you have the same experience in vSphere, in traditional VMR environment, and from today, on OpenStack. So OpenStack have been traditionally complex from the beginning, and we're trying to make as easy as possible through open source tools, like our Juju tool, for example, in Ubuntu, and uh, easy to deploy. But still, the networking part was hard up to now. Uh, we used to have uh, Open vSwitch as an alternative of OpenStack, but now we have also Cisco. So. Uh, the network engineers that are familiar to Cisco and are familiar to uh, the traditional switching yeah. model are now more happy of embracing OpenStack. So there's no fear of doing tunnels by hand uh, or uh, configure the virtual machine hand by hand on the, on the single node. Now you can do it from a traditional iOS interface and everything is it. And so, and, and certainly that's been my experience. I mean, we've all heard about, you can't go anywhere these days without hearing about OpenStack this, OpenStack that. But just from my point of view as a, a traditional networking guy, the barriers to that adoption has been the perceived complexity of OpenStack. There's so many distributions out there. Uh, from my experience, every time I've, you know, come into contact with OpenStack, there's literally been a team of developers required to get that distribution up and working. So are we talking about now that, I mean, is it just a case of as, as simple as having a, a Neutron plug-in to the virtual supervisor module? How does that work? Um, from a networking perspective, yes, it's very easy from, from the user side. So OpenStack uh, is actually an umbrella project. Uh, the, the user and the actual corporation and companies can uh, mix and match the technologies they wish, they wish to use. Uh, this happens to the hypervisor, happens to the storage. Uh, you can support several kinds of storage, such as Swift, Cinder, and Ceph. And you can now mix and match also the uh, networking technologies. Before it was only uh, Linux bridges, which is a traditional bridges over VLANs for the techies. Uh, and now it can be, can be as easy as using a, a Cisco 1000V into your networking capability. You just use as it were in uh, VMware, now on OpenStack. It's very, very easy. And it indents the complexity of, of the OpenStack configuration. Cool. So up until now, we've only had the Open V switch as an option as the virtual switch within OpenStack, correct? Right. So I mean, again, I'm not a big um, OVS guy, but I'll, even I know that up until now, OVS has has barriers to adoption. It maybe hasn't had the you know the rich features required by a cloud platform. Can you just you know um, explain what what the advantages that Nexus 1000V is bringing to OpenStack that we didn't have with OVS? So, um. As far as I can visit all the uh, big customers, I usually visit, visit big customers and big telcos across Europe. And I would say that uh, this is a great opportunity for enterprise customers to join OpenStack because with the obvious limitations, uh, you have to configure end by end all the devices. And uh, as soon as you have a little installation, that can be 10 nodes, this cannot be a problem. When, when it, you have to scale out, you have to have something really cool to uh, be able to manage the networking. So we've got a lovely uh, topology diagram on the board. So just talk us through that. How does this work? 
So, uh, how we as Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu, uh, we do the uh, actual installation of OpenStack. As you mentioned, OpenStack is really difficult to install. It can take up to nine weeks to install hand by hand. Uh, we came up with a, with a tool called Juju that is actually a software orchestration tool. Uh, can manage both the hardware and the virtualization software inside. From the App Store, you can deploy as, you can, as easy as you can deploy MySQL and WordPress, you can deploy a full OpenStack installation. Then squeeze down the installation up to only one week instead of nine weeks. That's a great saving. And inside of Juju, we are creating a, a, an app. So there is an app store in, in Juju. And you can deploy Nexus with a one-click deployment as you're networking. So from a simple guy, you select, I want OpenStack. I want Cisco 1000V as a networking option. And then that's it. Well, I'm that simple guy. And Giuseppe, you've made me, a you know, traditional networking guy, understand this a bit, a little bit better. I'm really excited about this. I mean, I, again, I'm a 1000V guy, and I think now I've got that route into you know, cloud, you know, OpenStack that I never had before. So thanks very much. OK, that was awesome. And I think you viewers know what time it is. It's unicorn time. So we've talked about speeding up deployment on OpenStack. So let's see a really fast unicorn. Go, draw us a fast unicorn. <laughs> it's a unicorn drawdown, everyone. <laughs> I love it when they think I'm joking. <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got a ringer, folks. <laughs> I love this every time. We got we have a bit of a rhino corn, but I think we know we know what that is, and somebody's been practicing. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Giuseppe. We'll see you next time on Engineers Unplugged.